Hi, in this tutorial we will go through calibration of the 360 camera rigs. So here I have a camera rig which consists of uh, three GH4 cameras uh, coupled with the eye sugar lenses and uh, I will show you how to calibrate this rig. So the first thing that you need to do is to of course attach the cameras to the rig, you need to set the focus uh, of the lenses you need to make sure that you have some sort of capture cards. Uh, so in this case, we are using inogenic capture cards. And then you would also need a calibration board. Uh, now, we at Voices can supply this type of calibration board, which has a uh, pattern for setting focus on the background, and it's made from uh, aluminum D-bond. Uh, but if you don't have access to uh, a board like this, you can also print a board on a piece of paper, but, and then we suggest attaching it to a wall. Uh, but today I'm going to use this calibration board. So after you have uh, set up the cameras on the rig, it's, and you have the capture card set up, you will then go into open up Voices VR Producer and do the rest there. So now we're at the PC, and it's time to start up Voices VR Producer. And what we want to do now is to add a stitched video to one of the scenes. But first of all we need to save it, uh, so I'm just going to replace the old voyage that we created before. Then you can add a stitch video, and you need to add the inputs for it, which is the actual camera sources. I'm going to add one here, and then you need to select the proper input type, and in this case Inogeni uses direct show, so I'm going to select that. Now we can see the image from it. Uh, one particularness of the uh, direct show interface is that sometimes the frame rate is not right and there is actually no way for us to determine the proper frame rate. So we can see that we got the 4K resolution right, uh, but the GH4 sends out um, 4K at 25 FPS. So I control click here and then I type 25, or you could have just used the scroll bar to set it. What we also need to do uh, is we need to make a crop, uh, because we don't want all of this uh, black um, uh, stuff here on the border. So I want to, you want to go in under crop and vignetting and then you want to add a circular crop. So you just click here and drag and you can see that we are increasing the circular crop here. So I'm going to place it right around there. I also think that we have a bit of vignetting in this camera lens uh, so I'm going to add just a bit of vignetting compensation like this and now I think it looks good. Uh, so then you need to repeat this for the two other input sources. So the next thing that we need to do is to perform the calibration. So what you want to do is you want to hold up the board in multiple positions like this and then take a capture in each position. And uh, what we will do is we will identify the corners of the board and that will help us to uh, calculate the lens parameters and the physical characteristics of the rig and the camera uh, in each position. So if you, if you hold it up like this, this will give us information about the lens parameters and the rig position in this direction. So you will want to do this all around the rig and you will also want to do it in more than one distance. Time capture. We'll, uh, we'll take images uh, every three seconds uh, according to the settings as they are per default. And what will also happen is that when I hold up the board, we're going to detect movement of the board. So if I move, it, move the board like this, then we will see that we detect a large board movement and we will not capture images when there is a board movement. So now I will start the time capture. And you can hear that it makes a sound. And this is a sound that it makes when it's waiting to grab a picture. Because at first it was waiting, now it's wanting to grab a picture, but it doesn't detect the board or it detects movement in the board. And then it's not going to take the picture. So what I can do is I can hold up the board steady, and there you hear the beep, beep, and that's when it took a picture. So now I've taken a picture between these two cameras. Now I took for this camera. And then I move around like this. In order to initialize the calibration, you just click do calibration. 
And this will start off the automatic calibration process. And this is a non-linear optimization, uh, which can take uh, quite a while to complete. So uh, be patient. So now the calibration is completed. And you can see here that it says calibration is successful and we also get the residual error rate, which is a number indication of how good the calibration was. So now we can close the calibration and now we need to set the horizon. So what you will do then is you will drag these uh, three rotation parameters uh, and you will drag them around until you're happy with, the, uh, with what the horizon looks like. In this case, I think uh, this seems pretty good to me. And that's the horizon. And then we can save this. And because we have automatic stitching turned on by default, uh, usually the results you get after calibration looks um, pretty good automatically. So this is uh, how easy it is to calibrate a camera in Voices VR Producer.